click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to the subject electromagnetic field theory we are with chapter number 10 that is the uniform plane waves up till now in this chapter we have gone through the maxwell equations into the phasor form right from the time domain representation we have the difference uh, the representation into the phasor form thereupon we had the two sets one for the general conducting medium and one for the perfect dielectric medium here there is no charge flow so the topic was followed by wave equations into general conducting medium followed by the wave equations into the perfect dielectric medium later on we have solved the solution for the wave equation that is we have chosen that is electric field intensity wave equation into the general conducting medium we have the formally derived for the alpha beta gamma that are correspondingly the attenuation constant phase shift constant the propagation constant along with the intrinsic impedance eta the velocity of propagation v and the wavelength represented by lambda so based on to those general formally we had into the previous video the wave propagation into the perfect dielectric medium so for perfect dielectric medium we came to know that the alpha is equal to 0 the beta formula is also reduced to have omega under root of mu epsilon corresponding changes we have made into the velocity the wavelength and intrinsic impedance so based on to all such formula let us take problem number 1 So here we have the problem statement. It is given by a uniform plane wave propagating in polystyrene is having E is equal to 20 volts per meter, assuming lossless propagation with epsilon r is equal to 2.56. Find beta, lambda, v, eta, gamma, and mod of h bar. So problem statement is very simple and short. we have been given a uniform plane wave it is propagating into the polystyrene material and here we are assuming a lossless propagation so lossless propagation means the formula that we have seen for perfect dielectric medium that we can apply to this particular medium now what is the given data the given data is that for this polystyrene material the relative permittivity of medium is given 2.56 hence the total permittivity we can have epsilon 0 into epsilon r that is in farads per meter so this will be 2.56 times 1 upon 36 pi into 10 to the power minus 12 farads per meter what we have to determine we have to determine the six parts that is the first one the phase shift information in terms of beta the wavelength of propagation that is lambda the velocity of propagation v the intrinsic impedance that is the ratio of magnitude of electric field intensity to that of the magnetic field intensity that is eta and the alpha plus j beta is equal to gamma and finally as we are given electric field intensity magnitude that is 20 volts per meter we have to determine that is mod of h bar the magnitude of magnetic field intensity so let us begin to solve this particular problem uh along with here we need the frequency value so that frequency value should be given to us so f is equal to we consider 9375 so it will be 9375 into mega hertz we take mega for 10 to the power plus 6 here so first of all noting down the given data so the given data here we have f is equal to 9375 megahertz hence 10 to the power 6 i multiply it with the second value is epsilon r is equal to 2.56 the mod of electric field intensity i must show by mod of e bar that is 20 volts per meter and the material to be lossless it means conductivity sigma is equal to 0 now in the part a we are asked with the beta value so beta is the phase shift constant we know the phase shift constant uh, formula for beta so that beta we can give that is omega in uh, in the under root here we have mu into epsilon 
Now, if we check the given values here, we have the epsilon value in terms of epsilon r. The omega we can find by this frequency that is if you multiply this frequency by 2 pi it becomes 2 pi f. So omega can also be determined. So what is the value of mu? So as mu value is not provided to us into this problem statement, we take mu r is equal to 1. So the relative permeability of the medium, so mu r in general, no need to give the suffix 1, it will be equal to 1. Hence into the formula, we substitute beta is equal to omega under root, here it is mu 0 into epsilon. Now, omega under root, it will be mu 0 into epsilon 0 into epsilon r. So, substituting the values here, we get the form of equation for beta. Beta will be equal to, omega will be equal to 2 pi f, 2 pi into f. In the under root, here we make mu 0 is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 into epsilon 0 that is 1 upon 36 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 9 into epsilon r is equal to 2.56. So f value we can uh, have substituted that is 2 pi into 9375 into 10 raised to power 6 in a multiplication with under root here it is 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 into 1 upon 36 pi into 10 raised to power minus 9 into 2.56. This is all in the under root. So if you have all this multiplication and the square root value, so we obtain the beta to have the value. It is obtaining 314.1592. As this is phase shift constant, the SI system of unit is having radians per meter for beta. So this is the required answer for part A of the problem statement. So here we had the problem statement beta part we have covered and we have obtained it with the value 314.1592 radians per meter. Now into the next part we shall be solving the lambda part. So here we have B part that is lambda. So for determination of lambda in the B part we write the formula lambda is equal to 2 pi upon beta or we can have 2 pi upon omega under root mu epsilon. So if we make all the substitutions here, this will be 2 pi divided by it will be 2 pi f and here in the under root we have mu 0 epsilon 0 into epsilon r. Therefore lambda will be equal to the 2 pi 2 pi shall be getting cancelled it will be 1 upon f under root it will be mu 0 epsilon 0 epsilon r so 1 upon 9375 into 10 to power 6 under root of it will be 4 pi into 10 to power minus 7 into 1 upon 36 pi into 10 to power minus 12 minus 9 here into 2.56 this is all in the under root into the denominator so this gives us the value of lambda 0 0.02 as this is the measurement of length the distance covered into the one cycle i put the unit that is into the meters so lambda is equal to 0 0.02 meters is the required answer for part b So we are covered with the beta here and we have the proper answer. Now we focus on to the part C. Here we are required to obtain V here the velocity. So for part C, we write the formula for the perfect dielectric medium. It is 1 upon under root mu epsilon. So now the non-magnetic material we have taken. Hence mu shall be replaced by mu 0 epsilon shall be replaced by epsilon 0 into epsilon r. So to substitute all the values we have 1 upon 
under root 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into here it is 1 upon 36 pi into 10 to the power minus 9 into 2.56 the value of relative permittivity of the medium. So we have substituted all the values the pi pi can get cancelled here the multiplication can be made and the square root can be taken. So finally the velocity of propagation v we obtained to the value that is 1.875 into 10 to the power 8. So this is the velocity. Velocity is always measured in terms of meter per second. Hence meter per second I mentioned the unit and outline the required result. So required result for part C that we have given. We required velocity of propagation V and it has this value 1.875 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Now the next parameter to calculate is eta. Eta is actually the ratio of magnitude of electric field intensity to magnetic field intensity given by intrinsic impedance. The intrinsic impedance formula we have for perfect dielectric medium in terms of permeability of the medium and the permittivity of the medium. Hence for part D the applicable formula that eta is equal to under root mu upon epsilon. So as into the previous part mu we have replaced by mu 0 whereas epsilon shall be replaced by epsilon 0 into epsilon r. Therefore it becomes under root 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 divided by here it will be 1 upon 36 pi into 10 to the power minus 9 into 2.56. So finally this gives us the value. So the value that eta is holding is 235, 235.625. As this is intrinsic impedance we put the unit ohm here. Ohm is the unit of impedance or resistance you can say. Hence this way we are covered the four parts of the problem statement number one based on to the wave propagation in perfect dielectric medium. So now we have the phase shift con constant, the wavelength lambda, the velocity v and the intrinsic impedance eta to hold this value 235.625 ohm. If it would be the free space the value could be the 377 ohm. Now the fifth portion is gamma. So gamma is the propagation constant and generally for part E gamma we have gamma we have given by alpha plus j beta. Now as we know that the medium is lossless medium alpha is equal to 0. So gamma will be left with only j times beta. Now in the very first part that is part A we have already determined beta. So beta portion has been calculated into the part A. Therefore gamma we shall be writing j in multiplication with the answer that is 314.1592. So propagation constant here we have mentioned. We know that the attenuation constant alpha is in terms of neighbors per meter the beta phase shift constant in radians per meter and the propagation constant into per meter. Therefore, I write the value J314.1592 per meter, 1 upon meter. So this way we are covered with the fifth value for problem statement number 1. Now the last value is to be determined that is magnitude of magnetic field intensity represented by mod of h bar. So for determination of mod of h bar we take the help of part d that where we had the intrinsic impedance of the wave. So for that purpose for partial f we write mod of h bar in terms of mod of e bar and the intrinsic impedance. So the magnitude of electric field intensity divided by the intrinsic impedance. Magnitude of electric field intensity is given to us into the problem statement and it has the value 20 volts per meter. 20 volts per meter. So it will be divided by the answer for part number D. So it will be or in another words 
we can have 377 divided by under root 2.56 or we can place it 20 divided by here we had 235.625 ohms so this ratio is giving us the value of mod of h so mod of h will be given by it is 84.8806 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 3 so as we always measure magnetic field intensity into amperes per meter we take this 10 raised to the power minus 3 represented by milli and it becomes 84.8806 milli ampere per meter hence i outline the result here so this is the last portion from problem number one that is mod of magnetic field intensity h bar we have determined so thus given the value of frequency given the value of relative permittivity of the medium the medium to be lossless and the magnitude of electric field intensity we are successful to determine the information regarding phase shift constant the lambda wavelength the velocity intrinsic impedance propagation constant and the magnitude of magnetic field intensity i hope you have understood how to practice with the determination of all such values in the next video we are going to take one more problem onto the topic wave propagation in perfect dielectric medium for getting such more information and practicing the problems for the subject electromagnetic field theory you can subscribe to ekda channel